three dispensations. We could bring it down to the Old Testament, to the seven church ages of the seven strokes and so forth. That looking through those streaks of blood there, the seven different streaks represent the seven church ages, Israel natural and the Gentile church in spiritual. Seven church ages just exactly the same way. And, uh, the, and the, uh, Israel had seven church ages right in its bloom of its best come Ahab and married this idolatry and brought an idolater in and called idolatry in Israel. The Christian church did the same thing out of the dark ages, come right in and married right into the same thing and brought idolatry into the Christian church again. See? Just exactly perfectly in this middle age. Now, I want you to notice quickly that all this hossip, cedar, and so forth was thrown in with the red heifer and was burned and made a water of separation that when an unclean person that was defiled had to come and go through the waters of separation which separated respect to his word and believe with all your heart. Right. Now for a fact now, in the Bible, we're going back over into First Kings just for a little bit. In our mental uh, conditions to let our mind drift back to a certain uh, event, there was King Ahab of the Old Testament, which King Ahab in his time is a beautiful type of the, the New Testament. And notice, just as Ahab married Jezebel, an idolater, and brought idolatry into Egypt, well, the type in the, the seven dispensations of the Old Testament as the seven candlesticks of the New Testament in the Dark Ages, the 1500 years of Dark Ages, Protestantism married Romanism and brought idolatry into the church just the same way. Amen. What's the Bible? It doesn't say that. Amen. That's right. Through that 1500 years of Dark Ages to come out with a false baptism, Franklin, false name, false everything else. Amen. And God said, you have a little light and you have a name, but you've denied mine. And see, Amen. so that's the same thing. And they have this lukewarm, borderline, backslidden Israelite. Oh, he might have been circumcised of the flesh. He might have had his name on the book somewhere as an Israelite. But in his heart, he thought more of that little painted face Jezebel than he did of the kingdom of God. And how?